Welcome back, my fellow duplicates, to Oxygen Not Included. Now, in today's episode here, I'm going to be starting up a new challenge. And the reason I am starting up a new challenge is because we've got the Mega Base Challenge, which is big and complex and ridiculous. And there is also the tubular upgrade that's going to be introduced into the game here in the next couple of days. I've been testing that out, and I've been working on some videos, but they haven't necessarily been all that successful. So, I think there's room in the schedule here to bring in a new challenge, and many of you guys have been recommending different challenges such as this one here <clears throat> which is have you tried doing a challenge of accepting duplicates as soon as they become available there's been many different variations of that same sort of idea of challenge not to mention just loads and loads and loads and loads of challenge ideas from you guys and i think this one's pretty cool however i've taken it and i've modified it ever so slightly by using the debug tools here so in these debug tools, I've copied this little section right here and then pasted it a couple of times. So the idea here is that three duplicates will pop out of these things at the exact same time. So in another 2.4 cycles, my base is going to go from two duplicates to five and things are just going to become absolutely ridiculous. I'm sure this challenge will not last very long because I will, I will, my duplicates will probably die and I might become stressed playing this game. <laughs> but we'll just have to see how it how, you know how well it goes. One of the other ideas I've had for this game that I think would be really fun is to play it with like uh, different pods in different areas of the map and then try to have the duplicates build together. However, this is the precursor to that challenge. So let's see how it works here. I'm starting off with just two duplicates because one of them got lost in the pasting process here. So I just have Ruby and Otto and they're going to try to build the base as best as they can to kind of get it in shape for all the duplicates that are going to be arriving here. The world seed, as many of you guys are going to be asking, is this number right there. All right, so before we get this thing started, we got to clap sync it up to make sure everything's all lined up. I was looking around for stuff to smash together. Found these, these, you know, these guys sent this to me a while ago and I never actually reviewed it. But they say it can float and it's actually really durable. So I guess I'll find out. Let's get into it. Jeez, that is brutal. Those things are bricks. <laughs> Some, something's going to start breaking back here. All right, so here we go. Rudy and Otto, let's get into this. we got to start digging up. To have five duplicates, it seems like, well, what is the next printing cycle? It's every three cycles we're going to get a duplicate out of here. So, what is important? Well, obviously, we need oxygen. We have food for a little while, but we're also going to need to build rooms. And we're going to need to build rooms at an incredibly fast rate. But at the same time, it's not like we can lack on technology. The workforce is going to increase, but I'm not sure how the balance of this is all going to work out here. So one of the things I can build is a cot. That'll be useful here. We have normal stress responses for these duplicates, so nothing, nothing too fancy. I'm going to start with just a basic cot. And the other thing is obviously you need an outhouse or something like that. And that is usually pretty a good idea to put that behind a wall or something. So that's a no, that's probably not a good spot for it. No waste of time. Come on now. Get back to work. Try to keep these duplicates close to the printing pod. That will at least keep their, you know, spirits up a little bit. I don't really want to spend a lot of time building ladders if I can avoid it. I guess the one thing I did get out of this is I got a little extra oxalite, you know, from copying and pasting this. So there was, I've got a little extra oxygen, which is a nice bonus for me. And this starting biome seems like it's it's pretty decent. I mean, I've got water over here, a nice big body of it. I've got some water up top and down below. The amount of algae I have is pretty decent. And copper ore is well dispersed. So for a starting world, you know, this seems like it has a, a nice balance to it. There's even some gold amalgam over here. Okay, so it's going to become important very quickly to get some metal. So I'm just going to dig down like this. I'm not going to build any storage compactors at the moment, uh, just because I don't think it's going to be necessary right off the bat. I mean, obviously there is negative decor over here, but until I can close something off behind a door, I don't think it's really worth it. So, luckily, all of these printing pods over here just have a nice decor that comes off of them. So that's one advantage I do have. Hopefully we'll get down here to, to some dirt. I don't have any dirt. All right, so I got lucky here. I noticed that I'm right next to some slime, but luckily it doesn't have any germs on it. Uh, I almost made a mistake right off the bat there. That would have been bad. Looks like we're doing all right. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Hmm. 
they're starting to hold their breath. Ideally, they would not be holding their breath because that's just gonna create more stress and they're gonna have to stop to breathe. If I can dig this up here, I can get a little bit more oxygen to flow down. So I'll increase that priority. Come on, Ruby. Nope, Otto's got it. I think this is like the first base I've started and I didn't have meat. It is like really bright on this camera. I've turned it down already, but you can see over here, like, well, I guess you can't see, but it's, it's already snowing around here, which I mean, it is December, but I don't know. I think that's signs for a very, a very cold winter that's going to be showing up here, at least in my area. All right. So day one has gone all right. We're off to a decent start. What I'm going to need now is I'm obviously going to have to have research. So in order to do that, I need to make sure that I'm I'm over here next to water so that I can, you know, uh, the, the run to deliver the water to the research center is not a very long one. So I'm going to go ahead and do this number right here and then I'll have a ladder that goes down. Luckily, there's some food down here, so this might be a good place to actually grow some food right off the bat. So I'll put the research center right there, right next to it. And then when I get here, I'll put a, you know, a pump right there. And then I'll leave one little spot here so that I can't throw up into the water and just totally ruin everything. So while my duplicates are doing all of this, one of the things that I was trying to do yesterday, um, which I posted over here in the new community tab, and by the way, Awesome news, this channel has hit 40,000 subscribers. We can see everybody over here. So I'm trying to use this new community tab. I guess it's one of the new things that are available. Notification squad, uh, you can see all the people that are here. There wasn't any challenges in a while. Nice that you recorded some more of them. Nice. Uh oh, I think somebody's getting attacked every... No, don't kill him. Uh oh. Yeah, Ruby's getting run off from a hatch that's all right they seem to be doing all right up here titus logan everybody a part of that little bell crew and the little notification squad up there welcome so one of the things i was talking about down here is is this <laughs> thing that is off the screen this little airlock so i was working with the tube access point and what i was trying to set up here is a where the the exit for your chamber that you have somebody jump into with the tube I didn't want that access point to be on continuously as, you know, uh, consuming power. So I tried to set it up on a button here with a little buffer switch so that that would turn on. However, the duplicates, once they've, once they've made up their mind of where they're going to path, like it's impossible to change their mind. So what you can see here is one duplicate chooses the access point while the other one just waits for the door to, you know, go through its cycle timer and, and open up. So that was a that was a real struggle. Spent a couple hours trying to make that video and just didn't work out. All right, getting back to the action now. We've completed all of that digging and construction, so that's good. I'm gonna cancel that real quick, and I'm gonna make the power right over here with a couple of batteries, two batteries for this manual charger, and that'll get us started into research. The other thing is we can also hook up the algae deoxidizer here to start pumping some oxygen into this, you know, into this map. So I guess what this really comes out to is one duplicate per day. So every day there's going to be another duplicate here. Okay, so with that in mind, I need to continue construction here so that I can bring in more duplicates into this map. So we will build... no, no, no. What do I want to do? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deconstruct these ration boxes to get the food out, and then I'm gonna put a couple of cots right here next to the printing pods. That'll at least be some nice decor that they can cot right next to. All right, so I'm going to need some more oxygen. There's never gonna be enough of that, so here we go. We'll just do this number and get that thing hooked up. As per the research I'm going to need, do I wanna start with food or power? Or advanced research? I'm gonna start with basic farming because food is gonna be a, an absolute need. Otto, you're sleeping on the job, dude. It's a bad time to be sleeping on the job. All right, I'm gonna make this research a little bit lower so that I don't spend a lot of time working on that. I'll have one duplicate assigned to doing research continuously, but everybody else is going to continue constructing things for the next duplicate that's going to show up. Oh, you can hear the new song that they've added into the game now. That's neat. 
All right, so I need a micro musher as well. So luckily I have access to some more metal up here. So I can just grab that. It's going to be important that I continue to mine things like algae and copper ore as much as possible. Lots and lots of digging going on up here, but that's good because now I have a lot of algae. So that'll be coming. That'll be real handy. Look at that, 3,800 kilograms now. I mean, that won't last forever, but for a little while, that'll be good. Hopefully, it'll be long enough to research up to something a little bit better. The main thing is I want to continue. I have to dig continuously at this point until I find something like a steam geyser or something like that in order to provide me, you know, with a, a renewable source of water or something like that, because I'm going to have so many duplicates in this base very, very quickly. Auto man, you're sleeping on the job again. Seriously, man. What am I going to do with you? Oh, man, here we go. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so this is a challenging one, but Bert over here is a mouth breather, so it consumes more air, but I have to turn down the trait of plus five strength. So plus five strength would allow me to move a lot more ore with just that duplicate. Uh, but I don't think I can afford a mouth breather right now or a loud sleeper. And stress response is binge eater. <laughs> <laughs> With a high decor expectation. Bert, I would like it, but you're just terrible. Ari here seems to be pretty good. Refuses to do the job art, but your decor expectation is incredibly low. Plus you have high medicine and immunity, so that's good. That's one duplicate. Oh no! They all reset. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to have to do... Um, we're just going to have to do... The debug mode version of this so if i do control and f2 that's going to bring me in two more duplicates here however i can't choose what their stats are so let's see what i got here with ada low decor expectation or at least zero right now athletics minus five so <laughs> she's kind of slow but has a high creative you know so i have somebody that can do art at least trivaldo has returned to entomb people haven't you haven't you Stats though, vomiter, squeamish, quick learner, so that's pretty good. And high athletics. Not bad. Look at how fast Travaldo is compared to Ada. Ada, right there. He's so much faster, dude. That guy's awesome. Okay. So let's try to, I gotta narrow down the jobs here. So Ari here. You're going to do the job of research. Travaldo is fast, so Travaldo is going to do deliver, sweep, and dig. Any of those. I'm going to set up auto to be very similar, but can also do build. And Ruby's going to be my only chef, at least for now. Things will change quickly, and I'll have many duplicates here. <laughs> All right, so I need to set up a food machine, the micro musher, and that's going to go right in this area. That way it's close by the water, because that's something you always need. It's also close by the power, so I don't have to run wires everywhere. I can preserve the amount of wires I have. That's also why I'm just going to run this directly up rather than through the ladder, because that requires less. Insufficient oxygen generation. <laughs> well, it's overpressurized. So, I mean, that's at least good. I can always put another deoxidizer up top, but for right now I have some oxalite that's still kicking out a lot of oxygen, so that's not too bad. Gosh, the sand is kicking my butt. Stop it! Stop entombing everything, Travaldo. What a dude. I'm going to need multiple outhouses over here, so just because otherwise my duplicates are going to start having issues. So I'll make sure to increase the priority on this one at least a little bit here. There we go. That too is important. 
Okay, so I'm going to need a carbon dioxide box. Some place that I can store this food. I mean, even though I'm making it up here, which is close by, uh, that might have been better off being made down here. But if I have a low spot, at least the carbon dioxide can settle in that area. That would be best down here in the bottom right. So my plan is to dig down here, nice and deep. <laughs> Ada, seriously, how slow of a duplicate did I get? It's ridiculous. And Travaldo, come on, man, stopping too much stuff. How are germs doing? Germs are not doing so good. I need wash basins around here. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the left. Everybody has to wash their hands coming out of the bathroom. And then for the food... I'm only going left. I'm going to set that at a nice priority of six because it's important. Now, I would like to make the new food for my colony, the berry sludge. However, the way this works is that I don't think that that's going to work out all that great. I need to find a cold biome in order to get sleet wheat and have bristle berries, which require a lot of water. And I don't think either of those is anything I'm going to have a lot of anytime soon. So those are kind of expensive to make. However, they don't go bad. I suppose the one problem I'm not going to have in this base is food going bad. If anybody wants to quote date stamp that one, now would be a good time to do that. <laughs> Look at Hayden go. <laughs> I don't know why that is so funny, but she's just so slow. It's incredible. Hey, look at that. All right. Awesome. So once I get down here, I can start to grow some food. And from the looks of it, I'm not going to dig down any further. So this seems like a good spot to start growing, you know, some meal ice and stuff like that. I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to grow as much as I can. Now I need more research. Better food? No. Power or plumbing? Or ventilation. Or decor? Because I want to get rid of some stress. I think I might want to go straight to decor. Otherwise, my duplicates are going to die due to stress. Or they kill themselves, slowly. Oh, we got ourselves a new hello from the notification squad. Hello, man. MCR Cortex. All right, germs, how are we doing? Ah, good, those wash basins? Wash little basins made a good difference. So I'm probably going to have to have one of these new duplicates that's going to pop in here in a cycle and a half. Do nothing but sweep. Because right now the decor well, it's the amount of debris, and these debris are going to become quite stressful. So maybe I want to start doing this already. Yeah, like Ada is going to be my best sweeper? I don't think so. However, Otto might be my best sweeper. Let's see, between Otto and Travaldo. Even though I really need them to keep digging. Who has the better strength stat? Zero. And zero. <laughs> okay, so right now I don't have anything set on cook, so... Ruby will just run around and sweep. That also means I'm going to need an area with a lot of storage. So many things to do. It's crazy. Luckily, sleeping right next to all of these printing pods is really helping out my duplicates. Like, their stress goes right back down. So we can get rid of polluted dirt with compost. That'll be helpful. So we can start poo flipping over here. <laughs> I'm debating whether or not I want to add another research station. Because I might need to, you know, crank that up a little bit. Okay, so one thing I can start to do now that I have granite 
is I can replace this with a little bit higher decor tiles. That'll help. Otto is a beast. Look at him go. Glad I got him. The guy's practically a super duplicate inside of here. He's channeling the spirit of super meep. <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at this. this is normal. Not normal speed. This, I guess this is 2x, but look at that. He's just flying at fast speed. Look at him go. Bam! Him and Travaldo know exactly what's up. Like, they have a sense, sense of urgency. Unlike Ada here. Jeez. Look at that. This is at ultra fast speed, right? 3x. <laughs> You're going to be the first to go. I guarantee it. Why are you digging, Ada? Oh, because I've given you... You're like the only person I don't know who to give... A, what to give a job besides the only thing you're good at which is art okay so here we go granite yes this will help it means I need more research hmm do I go the stress route or do I go oxygen well right now I don't really have the water source for the electrolyzer and I don't really have the carbon dioxide build up just yet Now, obviously, I need to do the advanced research here. Otherwise, it's just pointless. Ah, oh, we almost got the farm started. <laughs> the furthest possible way to go. So if we take a look at the decor, well, it's not bad. I mean, it isn't great, but it's not bad. Gosh, what happened there? You had to disinfect the bed in the morning? Ooh. Somebody had an accident. Okay, so I can uproot that and then move it over here to the flower pot. That'd be good. What about rooms? Yeah, we definitely don't have rooms. Um, if I add enough doors, can I make this these into rooms? Maybe. Going to need a cot in each one of these. I can't remember exactly how big the room has to be, though. Minimum size, 12 tiles. So one. Okay, so this should work as one single room. It's like the minimum size, though. Alrighty, got some more research done. Now I can start to do the advanced stuff. So we'll get the artistic expression going on here to try to keep that decor up. I feel like that's just one of the most important things I can do early on in this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the supercomputer and that'll be right up there. So, And then hopefully when these next duplicates drop here, which will be the next thing that happens, I'll be able to have some people with some really good um, research ability. However, how much food do I have? Um, I still have a decent amount of food available. 59. So I've got a lot of food that I can still consume at this point. Overall, the decor in here, this is still the best area. Everywhere else is still suffering quite bad. And here we go. Another duplicate. Let's go for the middle door this time. I only get to choose one. Hmm. <laughs> Bert is back, but with a whole new bag of tricks. Decor expectation, negative 25. And you, are, you don't like good food. You just like terrible stuff. However, you are a binge eater. I don't know. That's pretty well-rounded traits right there. Plus strength. Nice bit over here is actually kind of got my attention as well because of the high digging and high immunity. But then again, a Camille has the same sort of straights right there, <laughs> except for they're flatulent. <laughs> I'm going to go with Bert. Bert seems like the, the best well-rounder right now. And then let's see who else we get. We get Abe and Harold. What's up, man? Medicine and digging on Harold. And negative five decor expectations, so that's good. 
Got a couple of binge eaters, though. That's always very dangerous. What about a... Ugly crier. <laughs> Ooh, but a strength of three. Abe, your job is to sweep. Harold, however, what can you do? Maybe Harold will be my primary digger. Maybe that'll just be his job. Because look at it. Digging is already up at six. Never mind. I'm going to put Bert here on research. And that way I can keep the advanced and the, you know, basic continuously going. Okay, so far we're doing well. However, how is oxygen doing? Is Are we finally out of oxalite? Oxalite doesn't seem to be here anymore. So I think that's the next biggest threat that I'm facing. Yeah, we only have 600 grams over here. 800. So I need to crank up oxygen production. So I'll put another deoxidizer over here. Not even going to bother with terrariums. They're just simply too inefficient. Especially for a base that's already at a population of 8. <laughs> by cycle 7. <laughs> I'm also going to need a deoxidizer over in this area as well. The thing is I'm going to need more power. So this is my plan over here. Just like so. Should be nice and simple. And it should work out pretty good. I could even put some little decor above this as well. I would think that these would be my two duplicates that are potentially going to have too much stress, but I don't know. Right now it's working out okay. Hmm. Research, basic research ended, so you already needs to have another job. Hmm. 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 How about some building? I'm trying to do a little digging up this direction just to kind of see what's up here. I also see this massive area of algae over there. So that'll buy me a lot of time if I can get over there, at least buy me a good amount of oxygen. <laughs> I don't know, the amount of time it takes to get over there, I continue to increase the amount of algae I need. So I don't know if it's if it's that much time, but it's more. If I can protect myself from all of this slime, that'll give me a lot of power and access to a whole bunch of, you know, algae and all that stuff here in the future. I mean, just look at how big that is. <laughs> So a slime generator or a slime processing plant that also works as a generator I think will be a good strategy to go with because I'm just surrounded by it. I don't see a cold biome anywhere though. Okay, so I can improve my duplicate's life a little bit by adding some decor. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple of pictures wherever I can. And I should have only one duplicate with the job of art. <laughs> Ada. Okay, so now i got to work on the air systems here to get the carbon skimmer and the electrolyzer so I can get enough oxygen to stay alive. That'll also get me started down distillation so that I can use the algae distiller. And then I can also water purify as well. All of that is very, very useful. I don't have a lack of duplicates, so right now I'm not too worried about unlocking like a cold generator. At least I don't want to get that. I don't want to get the cold generator running before I have a carbon skimmer. Because I have to be able to deal with all of that carbon dioxide. See, oxygen's really starting to get thin now. So I gotta crank up the priority on this stuff. Get her done. Okay, all I need to do is go to six. <laughs> Not seven, gotta keep the priorities down, otherwise things go crazy. There we go. Luckily I have a lot of oxygen being produced on this side of the map. However, I don't have a lot over here, just 300 grams now. I think in the next cycle, though, I'll be able to get some more oxygen, so that'll be good. I got a couple of room bonuses. So, things are off to a decent start here. Bert, why don't we have anything to do? What's your job? Research. Oh, because power. All right, so I have all of the deoxidizers running. So good. We're cranking up that oxygen in this base, so we got past that one, you know, danger point. At least. But right now, I have two duplicates that are running power and nobody doing research on the advanced stuff. So really, you should not be doing power. I don't want to put Otto there because he's just too pro. So Ruby will do power. I also have the mealwood farm down here up and running. So that's good. And that will hopefully provide my duplicates with enough food to survive. Right now, they're doing pretty good as far as their consumption is concerned. I think I'll definitely want to continue to increase this. I mean, almost indefinitely at this point. Luckily, I've got some a really good place down here for that. 
so long as it doesn't get too hot. See, it is 30 some degrees Celsius down there. It might be a good idea to put some abyssalite around this at some point. But right now, I think it's doing okay. I think one of the things I could do here to really improve this is if I just leave these open. We'll see if I still get the, the room bonus, even though the doors are open. I see a lot of duplicates running across this area right here. Harold. Where's Harold? Dude, you're sleeping on a ladder. Are you serious? What a boss. Somebody please finish Harold's room. That's just not nice. Oh, interesting. I have some oxalite down here. Hmm, that means I could do some digging. I like this. Oh, this means I could also drop the water down in this area as well. And that would also work to kind of keep some of that heat away from all of these mealwood. Or from all of this mealwood. I don't know. I say things weird sometimes. <laughs> all right, Harold, I like this idea. Good idea, man. Let's give it a try. Just don't end up entombed in water. That would be really bad. Hmm, to go with power or to go straight for... No, you're going to go for power. A little bit. Oh, no. More duplicates. Here, I was just feeling like I was ahead of the game a little bit. Let's see what we have here. The one rule I have is that if Meep drops, I have to take him no matter what. Immunity. Small bladder. Destructive. Slow learner. Ugly crier. However, look at that strength. Max, bro. You're coming with me. And then let's see what else we get here. Got another Ari and another Otto. They've, what? They've duplicated. Whoa, dude, Otto is a beast digger. Look at that, 11? But the decor expectation is 20. All right, so <laughs> the new Otto is going to have to have his own little room. Otherwise, he's just going to be like massively stressed out. And I'll have to put a nice little granite picture in it so he can at least recover in the evening. And hopefully I have an artist around here who's just going to finally do some art. There you go. Otto, clearly you're going to be my digger because that's what you're going to do. Deliver or power. That'll be good. Maybe even some build for the new Ari. And Max will just be an all-rounder. Well, actually, he should be my sweeper. That's right. So that means Abe is going to go back to being the all-rounder. So if we take a look at how much Max has, he has 675 kilograms in him. This dude can pick up so much. Ah, and I can leave these doors open as well. That works. Look at how match it. Yeah, he's carrying over 600 kilograms. Let's see if I can find anybody else doing some sweeping. Looks like Travaldo's trying to do a little bit of sweeping. Nope, never mind. Oh gosh, who's stressing out? Harold! Bro, seriously! Somebody give Harold a bed. Why can't you get up to it? Why? <laughs> Harold! Oh, he's stuck. You dug yourself into a corner. I got it. Just you in this little hatch down here. Oh, no. And now you're going to go to the bathroom? Don't you dare. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dude. Oh, oh you're killing me. At least you woke up. Ah, oh, no. Well, crap. Let's, let's see if I can mop this up before it becomes a major problem. All right. I've just made a new rule. Everybody can mop, just in case that happens. Uh, 3,000 germs. That's not too bad, and it will die off. So I think, I, think I, I caught that fast enough to where it isn't going to become a problem. Hopefully. Ooh, and we have an electrolyzer now, so that's useful. If I run out of algae, which kind of looks like it might happen. All right, so how's my decor doing? I mean, look at these masterpieces. Ada, you found yourself a job. You're useful. Check this out. Look at that. Plus 91. Beautiful. Okay. Awesome. I'm just going to... I'm going to keep making sure... I'm just going to keep making sculptures and things like that just to keep this decor up as nice and as high as possible. 
because I don't want stress. Stress is bad. This area down here is like awkward and useless for whatever, for whatever purpose that's going to serve. It's not really doing anything right now. I suppose I could put my next round of cots down there. <laughs> this whole base is going to be like, where do I put all these duplicates? There's just going to be like a little bit of equipment around, but it's mostly just going to be rooms. It's going to be like a massive hotel. And then everybody's going to die. And I don't think I have enough mealwood. Like it just doesn't feel right. Okay, so the life cycle of mealwood is three. And... 800 calories. The problem with this oxygen now is that I don't have a good spot for all of my carbon dioxide. So if I want to put food anywhere, it's going to have to be down here, at least the meal lice. Then everything else can be brought up and cooked, so long as I don't make too much of it and consume it that same day. <laughs> All right, well, this challenge is off to a pretty good start here. I went 10 cycles, and I think like that's a pretty good duration for one little episode here. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode of Oxygen Not Included. Let me know down there in the comment section below what you think about it, and hopefully I've earned your subscription if I haven't already. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out. Okay, a little announcement I want to tag on to the